right now. Allie Jenkins was a fierce competitor. So you can see here she's handling the pressure. She was admired for her dedication to curling and to her young family. On Sunday, Jenkins gave birth to a baby girl, then died from a rare complication in which amniotic fluid seeps into the bloodstream and the heart fails, the lungs collapse. The news came as a complete shock to our organization as well as our all of the curlers in Saskatchewan and, and across the country. The head of Saskatchewan's curling organization, Ashley Howard, says the community is in shock. The unexpected nature makes things very difficult, uh, but also what a great person that Ali was. Dr. Jennifer Blake says the cause of amniotic fluid embolism is unknown and unpreventable. The rate is around 1 in 20,000 births. That sounds pretty rare until you think that in a city of Toronto, for example, you'd have well over 20,000 births in a year. And it's often fatal. A mother's only hope for survival is life-saving measures by medical staff. Blake says the country needs a better way to track and reduce all maternal deaths during childbirth. I don't think most Canadians realize that we don't have the system to get the data. She believes if that happened, more deaths could be prevented. Back in Saskatoon, Ellie Jenkins' teammates and friends are reeling. I didn't want to believe it because honestly, Allie is such a strong person. Like she, she was such a force. The cur curling community has lost a great one. She brought it every time. She would, with the two kids at home, she'd still be the first one here for practice. Come on guys, let's go. They're raising money to support her husband, Scott, and their three children, including Jenkins' newborn daughter, Sydney, who is still in intensive care. <sighs> I think she's a little fighter, and I think she gets that a lot from her mom. Bonnie Allen, CBC News, Regina.